Here is one of the most anticipated vehicle launches this year. Now another one was the all-new F-150, so please click on that card to watch that video on the all-new truck. But the Bronco is something different. Sure, it's an old Ford nameplate, but it really is a new utility built to take on Jeep. Bronco is available as a two-door model, a four-door, and what they call Sport, which is actually smaller than the others. The larger Bronco two- and four-door models are built with a body-on-frame design using a traditional chassis with the body bolted on top. However, the Bronco Sport is a unibody design, meaning it's more of a car platform, what you typically get with compact utilities. The original was built in 1966, and the most famous Bronco, of course, is OJ's from the 1990s. And it has been out of the market now for over 20 years. Now here are the details. Ford claims they took a life-size digital scan of the first generation model that served to influence the proportions and design of this all new Bronco. The square proportions, short overhangs, wide stance are optimized and designed for off-road adventure. And the side profile features a flat surface with clear cut edges and flared fenders. The front fenders also serve as tie downs and have 150 pound capacity. The two and four door models are what Ford calls built wild, ready for the outdoors. They even use the phrase goat, which means greatest of all time, but no, Ford calls it go over any terrain. Now, just like the Wrangler, these models have removable roof and door panels on selected models. The four-door comes with a standard soft top, but the owner can choose both soft and modular roofs if they like. There are even 200 factory-backed accessories that the dealer can install. Now, just like the Ford Ranger pickup truck, this new Bronco comes with a 2.3-liter EcoBoost four-cylinder with 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. Here's the good news. The same 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 engine found in the F-150 is available as an option. It has 310 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. The Bronco is available with a seven-speed manual transmission, the first in a truck, and an optional 10-speed automatic. Bronco's terrain management system with GOAT, go over any terrain, Help the driver navigate any type of terrain with up to seven driver selectable modes, including normal, eco, sport, slippery, sand, Baja, mud ruts, rock crawl, and off-road driving. The Bronco can also be equipped with 35 inch off-road tires available from the factory and available on every trim, even the base model. There are two 4x4 systems to be offered in the Bronco models, a base setup and an advanced 4x4. The base system utilizes a two-speed electronic shift-on-the-fly transfer case, while the optional system features a two-speed transfer case that adds an auto mode for on-demand engagement between two high and four high. Power goes to a solid rear axle and an independent front differential unit. Both are available for electronic locking differentials for improved traction. This sounds like Ford's answer to the Rubicon. There's an available semi-automatic hydraulic stabilizer bar disconnect for maximum articulation and increased ramp angle for off-camber terrain. There's also trail control, which is kind of like cruise control for low speeds. And there's even trail one pedal drive. So the acceleration and braking control, it takes place with just one pedal for more precise and confident low mode rock crawling. Ford claims that Bronco has best-in-class 11.6-inch ground clearance, maximum 29-degree breakover angle, a 37.2-degree departure angle, plus best-in-class water fording capabilities up to 33.5 inches. Now let's move to the inside, which is retro-inspired yet modern. It's even available with the new 12-inch SYNC 4 system that was recently shown in the new F-150. Now, just like Wrangler, the dash has grab handles that are off-road inspired, but the Bronco also has a bring your own device panel attachment points built into the instrument panel. Some Bronco models come with a washable rubberized floor with integrated drains and marine grade vinyl seat surfaces. The instrument panel surfaces are wipeable with seamless silicone rubber on the dash mounted switches and rubber touch points protect against dirt and water through the entire cabin. Here's what it costs. The Bronco starts at roughly $40,000 in the Canadian market. Now we shift to the Bronco Sport. 
Ford calls this the small SUV equipped for trails with standard 4x4. Once again, this is a direct challenge to Jeep. Just like the larger Bronco 2 and 4-door that we just showed, the Bronco Sport has an upright design, a safari-style roof, which delivers a long, flat roof rail for maximum carrying length, and it also has an upside. Ford claims that this has best-in-class first and second row headroom. It has a signature Bronco-inspired grille, round headlamps, clean, flat body sides, and short and front overhangs for off-road driving. Badlands model comes standard with 29-inch all-terrain off-road tires with more aggressive, deeper treads that stretch on the sidewall to help improve off-road traction, and these are available. Ford claims the cargo area has enough height to accommodate two 27.5-inch wheeled mountain bikes standing up with the available Yakima dealer installed interior bike rack. Bronco Sport has an available slide-out working table, part of a five-way configurable and available cargo management system. Plus, the Bronco Sport will launch with more than 100 factory-backed accessories. Inside is an 8-inch SYNC 3 system, not like the larger Bronco 2-door and 4-door, which has the available 12-inch unit. And just like those bigger brothers, the Badlands models have the washable rubber flooring, easy clean surfaces and silicone sealed switches for easy wipe down. The Bronco Sport comes with seven available GOAT modes and helps the driver go over any terrain. Unlike the larger Bronco, the Sport has front and rear independent suspension. There is a Badlands model available with 46 millimeter diameter rear shocks and softer springs for more aggressive off-road driving. These provide more articulation and a softer ride over uneven pavement. Now under the hood is an optional 2.0-liter EcoBoost engine with 245 horsepower and 175 pound-feet of torque, similar to the engine used in Escape. Just like the Escape, there's a base 1.5-liter engine with 181 horsepower and 190 pound-feet of torque. Both engines use a 10-speed automatic transmission. So there you have the Bronco, the 2-door, the 4-door, and the Bronco Sport, certainly coming right after Jeep. Who do you think does it better? You think the new Bronco or the Wrangler? And it's gonna be interesting to see how these are adopted in the marketplace. By the way, the Bronco Sport starts at $32,000 in the Canadian market. I'd love to hear your opinion and please subscribe for more COVID virtual car releases on the channel. And thanks for watching all the latest information on the all new Bronco.